Also meine Freunde, it's gonna be a beautiful day. Wir gehen heute in die Kirche, es ist Sonntag. Yes. Ja, wir sind in Amerika, Digga, hören brasilianische Musik. Kennt ihr diese Red Cups, Digga, aus den ganzen äh, Rap-Videos, wo die Lean drin haben und so? I'm going to church. <lacht> Uh, with the car, Keen's car. Okay. Yeah. 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 Ich hoffe, man muss da keinen Eintritt zahlen, Digga. Weil die Kirche ist schon sehr groß. Die Kirche ist schon sehr groß, Digga. Ich hoffe, man muss wirklich keinen Eintritt zahlen. Also wenn, dann zahle ich einen Eintritt, aber... Oh. Yeah, I'm a ticket to the oh. What's all in the flow? Yeah, I'm on the beat. High school, I rode the bus, but now I'm riding GMC. I ain't paid for it, but I pray that Pops gave me the key. Now I ain't riding in the forum, but I get from A to B. If the rain, then your blessing coming, just be patient, G. Ain't hey, time when you're praying to see it going to a tree. Hey, 2019, couldn't even make a beat. Now it's 2020, and I'm dropping hits every week. If you play it with the windows down, it ain't come for me. I'm in Eden, so I don't need you to keep me company. Wir sind hier. 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 Mhm. Boah, ich bin so gespannt. Oh my god. He's so deserving of our praise. Hallelujah. You love me. Won't you put your hands together like this this morning? The Lord is worthy to be praised. Dieser Worship ist so gut, Digga. Dieser Worship ist so gut. You know, the root of a lot of fear is simply self-centeredness. I don't want to get hurt. I don't want to be a failure. I don't want to look bad. I don't want to get messed up in this situation. I, I, I. Love gets the focus off of me and puts it onto other people. The more I'm filled with love, the less I'm filled with fear. Now let me tell you something, friends. When self is at the center of your life, you ought to be afraid. <laughs> you, when you're trying to drive the bus in your own life and you're trying to figure out your problems yourself, you ought to be afraid. But when Christ is at the center of your life, his perfect love drives out fear. I'm going to be filled with faith if Christ is in my life. But it's all a matter of your focus. Remember the story in Matthew chapter 14? Matthew 14, starting in verse 22, it says, Immediately, Jesus made his disciples get into the boat. Here, here we are again in a, another story, another boat. You know where this is going. And another bad time in the boat. He made them go before him to the other side while he sent the multitudes away. And when he had sent the multitudes away, he went up on the mountain by himself to pray. Now, when evening came, he was alone there, but the boat was now in the middle of the sea, tossed by the waves, for the wind was contrary. You say, the wind was contrary? Yeah. Now, in the fourth watch of the night, Jesus went to them, walking on the sea. And when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were troubled. Here they are, afraid again, right? Saying, it is a ghost. And they cried out in fear. 
But immediately Jesus spoke to them saying, be of good cheer, it is I, do not be afraid. And Peter answered him and said, Lord, if it's you, command me to come to you on the water. We're like, what? <laughs> Lord, hey, if it's you, Jesus, just tell me to get out of the boat and come right to you here on the water. So he said, come. And when Peter had come down out of the boat, he walked on the water to go to Jesus. But when he saw the wind was boisterous, he was afraid. And beginning to sink, he cried out saying, Lord, save me. And immediately Jesus stretched out his hand and caught him and said to him, oh, you of little faith, why did you doubt? And when they got into the boat, the wind ceased. Then those who were with him in the boat came and worshiped him saying, truly, you are the son of God. Now you see the problem here for Peter? Fear and faith don't mix. It's all about your focus. Friends, when your eyes are on the storm around you, you lose sight of the Savior. Peter starts walking on the water. It's a miracle, right? No human being has ever done this before. Jesus, who by the way is also fully God, was the only one. And so Peter's walking on the water. He's got his eyes fixed on the Lord, fixed on Jesus. Then all of a sudden he looks down and he looks around at the wind and the waves and he starts to think, I'm not supposed to be able to do this. Instant sink. The moment you take your eyes off the Lord and look at the circumstance, you're sunk. Friends, some of you have a major problem in your life that you have to make a decision on this week. You have to make a big decision this week. And the reason you don't have the wisdom to make that decision is because you're looking at the problem and not at the Lord. This giant problem, how am I ever gonna solve it? It's impossible. Can I tell you something? God specializes in the impossible, right? It was so good, yeah. Die Predigt war so krass, Worship so krass, nicht mehr normal, Digga. Digga, das war echt gut. Das war echt gut, Digga. Ich glaube, ich blende euch, weil es ist auch online, es wird auch aufgenommen. Ich blende euch die, die Predigt ein, also habt ihr, glaube ich, gesehen. Okay, das ist zwar nicht mehr der Tag, ich schneide gerade den Vlog, aber ich will was einfach noch abschließend dazu sagen, weil ich nie wirklich ein Ende zum Vlog gemacht habe, weil ich nie wirklich einen Schluss zum Vlog gemacht habe. Das waren jetzt irgendwie vier Minuten, die ich eingeblendet habe, aber ich fand es irgendwie sehr wichtig, was er gesagt hat. Wir vertrauen Gott zu wenig. Wir vertrauen Gott einfach zu wenig. Oder nee, nee, wir, wir fokussieren uns auf das Falsche. Wie er gesagt hat, wir fokussieren uns auf so viel auf die Probleme. Oh, ich will das erreichen, ich will das machen, ich habe dieses Problem, ich muss das lösen, ich muss das lösen. Aber anstatt, dass wir uns einfach auf dieses Problem fokussieren, sollten wir uns auf Gott fokussieren. Weil Gott wird uns helfen, das zu überwinden. Ich muss aber noch darauf aufpassen bei dieser Kirche, weil ich sehe sehr oft bei großen Kirchen in Amerika das Problem, dass diese Kirchen sich eher darauf fokussieren, mehr Menschen reinzubekommen, das heißt mehr Geld zu verdienen, anstatt die Gospel richtig zu, richtig zu preachen. Ich war nur einmal da und das, was ich gehört habe, war nicht schlecht. Also die haben nichts Schlechtes gepreacht. Die haben, eigentlich, die haben sehr, wie gesagt, sehr gut gepreacht. Das Ding ist, man muss halt dort aufpassen, weil ich kenne jetzt ein paar größere Kirchen, ich weiß nicht, ob ihr die kennt, die Transformation Church von Michael Todd, die sehr darauf fokussiert ist, einfach nur neue Leute in die Kirche zu bekommen und deswegen das Evangelium ein bisschen umändert, damit es sich besser anhört, dann auch mal sowas zu sagen wie... Äh God decided male and female. If I was there, maybe I would have told him, is there something in the middle you could do? Like kind of a, like a little maybe if somebody, well, I was born like this, I don't know how I feel. That I, I feel you. I know, honestly, I wish God would have made it so much simpler and it was like A, B, C, or D, like frick. As a pastor, like, so what do you think about gay men? I don't know. Dass sie nicht gecancelt werden, dass es einfach besser für die Leute ist. 
Und so sollte eine Kirche nicht sein. Du solltest das Evangelium nicht verändern, dass mehr Leute deine Kirche mögen. Ganz im Gegenteil. Aber, wie gesagt, ich werde da nächste Woche nochmal hingehen. Ich werde halt drauf achten. Und bis dahin, God bless. Ich hoffe, euch hat das Video gefallen. Wenn ja, like, abonnieren, kommentieren und keine Ahnung was. Also, wir sehen uns.